This week on In the Kitchen with Pete, we're making a delicious, simple, creamy tomato soup. I had a hankering for some nice creamy tomato soup, so I came up with this recipe. I'm going to be using some chicken stock. Vegetable stock is great as well. Half and half cream, San Marzano tomatoes, garlic, onions, some herbs, and carrots. Now why the carrots? Often in tomato soups they add sugar amongst many other soups. It sweetens it up for sure and gets rid of some of that acidity in the tomatoes. But the carrots do just as well. And I'm no nutritionist, but I gotta think carrots are better for you than sugar. Just saying. Anyways, let's get over to the stove and get cooking. Peel two large carrots and then using a box grater look for the teardrop holes. I'll use the smaller ones and we'll grate that up and set that aside. In a pot on medium heat we're going to add one teaspoon of each butter and olive oil. We'll add one cup of white onions, finely diced, just to soften them up about five minutes. Clear out a little spot in the bottom of the pan and add a drizzle of olive oil. Then we're gonna add two large cloves of garlic, finely diced. Stir that in and then let's add some more herbs. We're gonna add a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and a half a teaspoon of ground rosemary. Stir it in for about a minute to let it release all those flavors and aromas. Now don't skimp on this, use San Marzano tomatoes. Whole tomatoes, 28 ounces. We'll add that to our pot and then we're gonna mash that up. I'll use my handy tool here that's well, it's meant to be used for cooking ground beef, but I find it perfect for this process as well. Now we'll stir in five fresh chopped basil leaves. Fresh is the best way, folks. Dried basil just won't give you the same flavor. We'll stir in our carrots, and then we'll add our chicken broth, one and a half cups, or vegetable broth will work as well. Turn it up to high heat and bring it to a boil. Reduce the heat to low, cover it, and let it simmer for 40 minutes. Stir it occasionally. Add a pinch of salt and pepper to taste, and now it's time to blend it. I'm using my immersion blender. These work very well for this process. You can use a stand-up blender as well. And bring that to a nice, smooth consistency. There we go, it's looking nice and smooth now. And now we're going to add some half and half cream. Make sure it's at room temperature when you add this. And then gently stir that in and you'll see how nice and silky it becomes. Give it a final check for salt and pepper. Mmm, I think that's just perfect. It's time to serve it up. Oh my, doesn't that look delicious? Now here's one way I like it. I like to add a couple little croutons. Just sprinkle those on top. Or maybe you'd like a dollop of sour cream. I'm going to top mine with a little fresh grated Parmesan. Oh yeah. You're going to love it. I'll garnish that with a little bit of fresh basil on top. It's time to come to the table. Another simple and delicious recipe. I got lots more of them. Hit that little red subscribe button and you'll get notified every time I put up a new video. 
Well, thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya.